Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying rounding to the nearest hundred. I drew here a number line from 600 till 700. All the numbers that would be here if we are rounding to the nearest hundred, then they are closer to 600 than what they are to 700. And then the numbers here would be closer to 700 than what they are to 600, right? And then we have this middle guy here, 650. And the convention is mathematicians have decided that the middle number is always rounded up to 700 in this case. So let's say, for example, 631. And the number line, I would have it here 610, 620, 30. So 631 is somewhere here, right? So it gets rounded down to 600. How about 689? Okay, here's 650, so 60, 70, 80. It's somewhere here, it gets rounded up. 650, I just told you, it gets rounded up to the next whole hundred. And then 667. Okay, here's 660. It's somewhere there, again, round up. This one, it's right there, gets rounded down. And this one, okay, it's past 650, so round up. The important thing what we are looking at is whether the number has like 610, 20, 30, 40, or whether it is past the 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. In other words, we can just look at the tens digit in this number. And then that'll tell us whether we round up or down. So when you're rounding to the nearest hundred, look at the tenths digit. If the tenths digit is 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, it means that the number would have 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 something, right? Then you round down to the previous hundred. And then if you have 5 tenths or 6 tenths or 7 or 8 or 9 tenths, you round up. Because that means that the number has 50 something, 60, 70, 80, or 90. Okay? Now let's solve these examples. Round them to the nearest 100. 814. Okay? I hope you can tell without thinking of the rule. But if you think of the rounding rule, then you look at this tens digit. And there's 110. That means we round down to the previous 100, to 800. 228. There's 20. So it is less than 50. It's going to be one of those where we round down, right? 560. Now, this one would be past the middle point, past the 50, 550. So it gets rounded up, right? To the next 100, 600. And this one? There's 51. Round up, because 50 means you round up. 977. The seven tenths. It means we round up. And the next whole hundred is, in this case, a thousand. How about 82? It is eight tenths. So we round up, and the next whole hundred is 100. 44, there's four tens. You round down to the previous whole hundred, which is actually zero, okay? Because the whole hundreds are zero, hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Zero is one of the whole hundreds. So this one gets rounded down to zero. 309, okay, that would be closest to 300, right? 948 would be closest to 900. All right. 